Hiya, I'm Bill. Thanks for coming along to this video today. Today, I'm going to be talking about air source heat pumps. I can guarantee you're not going to uh, be one of those people that knows much about but what is said in the mainstream media and on YouTube and everything else. You need some real term data and graphs that I'm going to provide you in this video on the savings that you get so this is what I'm going to do so keep to the end and I'll show you all the cost savings and everything else air source heat pump that we got is an Aerofirm Plus by Valiant um, it has been absolutely brilliant I mean I, I just can't say how thrilled I am now you do have to have pipe runs and this is generally a 28 mil uh, pipe as you can see there it's quite a thick thick old pipe there now that is to supply the the hot water uh, the, the heat for the hot water and the um, for the radiators um, and generally you need an isolator supply like this that's not very nice looking, I must admit. You will need a pipe coming out the front or the back of your property. Uh, that's depending on your location of uh, your tank. And this is just a uh, an overflow. Uh, it's just in case it explodes or anything like that. It's just a, it, it's for one of those things that you need as a safety precaution. That's the only downside. But I suggest what I asked the installers to do is put uh, instead of plastic uh, brackets, I used the brass ones, and I think that looks a lot nicer. Now, uh, my kitchen is nowhere finished, uh, as you can see. So uh, this is a work in progress, but you you need to run these twenty eight mil pipes uh, into the sort of tank that's above here. And this is the tank within the room um you can see the pipes the new pipe runs that come through the floor and you can see that's that pipe run that comes from from the pressure so that goes outside now uh very straightforward uh basically very very straightforward this is a nice tank family sized it sort of does all of us for Talking about the tank size, you do get different size tanks for different sort of situations. So I think if you want a bigger tank, you can, but I'm going to talk to you about the tank and uh, all what you could do with it. So this is the main unit that you get. It's a wireless device. It can take off the wall and it's in a, it's double A batteries. Now, the one thing that you could do is you can go here turn your heating off like we've got it off at the minute uh we just want the hot water on auto now i don't know if that's the right way or not but that's the way i've, I've worked you can do ventilation boost that's good in the winter if it's a bit chilly and you need a bit more of a boost and the cylinder boost that's that's very important uh the cylinder boost basically means that it boosts the water in your tank so if you run out of water it, it within about half hour 40 minutes it basically gives you more hot water uh, for little money so I'm back in the kitchen now um, the things that I was worried about was uh, the the what I'm gonna save that is the main thing I would, uh, how I'm gonna save so I'm gonna show you some graphs next and basically you'll notice these graphs they're um coming from January or February weeks uh, and before I had it done and after I had it done and also some graphs that I'm going to show in the picture of during the summer months so I think these are, are vitally important to show you my costs of how much I've saved and especially with the price increases on the electricity prices now I'm going to mention uh, one thing I don't have a gas line because I'm rural I don't have heat at all I've just literally been on electric only and this has been a, a, an absolute saviour because I don't think we could have even imagined what it would have cost uh from going from 
the cut like the prices from what it was to the prices now oh, it's, it'll be uh, unbelievable um, the one thing that you do need to consider is it is a pain in the butt to get it all installed um, I might suggest you pack all your stuff up uh, that you don't want dust on and um, take a week off while the work's being done um, it is about three to five days of mucking about uh, for plumbers that there, there was five plumbers in here to do this job now um, I, I, I have got a box in that pipe work that I showed you all that black insulation pipe work that has to be boxed in so that's something that uh, different companies will do or won't do and they agreed they wouldn't do it so um, that's fine. I'm gonna do that myself. So I'm happy. You, you're, you're basically, um, you have to have all your radiators uh, reinstalled. Now, what this means is they need to run all new pipes, uh, all new radiators, because the way the system works is it needs a, a, a big flow of water, a, a bigger flow, um, and. I've, my house has never been warmer uh, when, in the winter months. It, it was so what it was going from. Honestly, it was we had uh, it was freezing in our house. We 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 just used an awful heater at the bottom of the stairs. That's how bad it was. Uh, so I'm so glad for this, and I'd recommend it if you. I guess if you've got a gas uh, boiler uh, and it's still working, then. Well done, you know, uh, you could have gas, but I haven't got gas. I've purely got electric. One thing that I love is the saving and the technology behind it. It's, it's, it's so fantastic. But uh, my top tip is to take a week off um, and uh, and let them get on with it, you know. Um, <laughs> that would be my, my top tip. But it's so, so worth doing uh I, I just uh, can't recommend it highly enough. Uh, you know, it's... Uh... So, um, if you've got any questions, uh, I might be able to help you if you put a comment below. Uh, something I've wanted to do this video for a while, but it's one of those things that needed a bit of organisation in my mind how I was going to do it. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it, you got some sort of information about it. And uh, I hope it helps you out. So, give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe today, because I do all DIY tips, gardening uh, tips, uh, you know, everything. I love... Uh, sort of giving you help that's uh, uh, my one joy in life is giving other people help so thanks very much and uh see you in the next one thanks bye bye